Okay, in this video we're visiting another of the worst areas in Swindon, so that you don't have to. And this time it's Pinehurst. <coughs> Pinehurst is an interesting area with different housing estates spread across it. We started exploring around the circle here to the north. So here are the local shops, you've got your chippy, a Tesco Express, a hair salon, so most bases are covered for the residents there. Jumping into the crime stats, there are 50 plus reported crimes on any given month. And the stats for Pinehurst paint a picture of antisocial behaviour, assaults and burglary for the most part. In fact, the police have listed it as a priority to engage with the youths and try to stop the antisocial behaviour from spiralling out of control. It looks like crimes are still trending upward right now though, so it's going to be a hot summer in Pinehurst. The housing is a bit bizarre here to be honest. There are loads of these dated blocks of flats seemingly just randomly planted in amongst a green area, with council estates built around them comprising of more flats and mostly terraced housing. There's always a correlation between the number of people living within an area and the number of crimes, so it's no surprise that Pinehurst is a high crime area of so many people packed in. Some of the recent headlines for the area include armed police raids, stabbings, stolen goods and weapons being seized, and so on. Here's the gospel hall that looks more like a gateway to hell if you ask me. Average prices for properties in Pinehurst was 241,000 last year, which is a little below the average for Swindon as a whole, which is 272,000. But again, that's no surprise as this is a high crime area, so it's a little bit less desirable to move into. The other area within Pinehurst we visited where a lot of the crimes were reported is built very differently. There was a network of closed off roads connected by paths and alleyways. There was junk everywhere as you can see, smashed windows, boarded up houses. And yes, we bumped into some people drinking cider on the streets at midday. Now, the interesting thing about how this estate is built, or more so what it centers around, is that it seems to operate around a liquor store. That's right, not some shops or a little shopping district with some food places. There is literally a booze shop in the middle serving all of the residents. Here is the said store called Liquor World. We parked up outside and we can confirm that it's busy even at midday. Walking around this state feels like you're in some kind of maze or labyrinth with the ultimate goal being to make it to the liquor store. But it's cleverly designed to make sure that you always end up there. Then you can drink your tinnies on the way home and check the empties in one of the many skips we saw I guess. In theory, these little ward communal areas in the middle of these houses here should be a fun place for the kids to hang out or families to have barbecues in the summer, but the vibe we got walking around was as far from that. It also feels like no estate in Swindon is complete without a discarded bath or a shopping trolley, or both, so here's that shot in Pinehurst. Along with some more crap dumped on the floor here, a sofa which again is quite a common occurrence, and of course some graffiti. Well that about wraps it up for Pinehurst. We had a great morning out to be honest, we met some colourful characters and we saw some interesting things. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you made it this far into the video you must have found it at least a little bit interesting. If you want to see more of the hoods in Swindon and other areas across the UK, click one of the videos below and I'll see you in the next one.